Hot Doodle Help, the Bulletin Board Block. The Bulletin Board Block lets you create website forums where users can post messages and others can respond. Bulletin boards are great for any kind of discussion. Hot Doodle's Bulletin Board Block will let you organize discussions into different topics and even allow users to subscribe so they are emailed when someone has posted a new message. Let's create a bulletin board block by clicking on the bulletin board's block type and then clicking Save. You can start by creating a board category by typing in the board name box, such as General Discussion Board, and then enter a description. This message board will be used for any kind of discussion. Then click Save. You will be brought back to the main page where you can begin discussions right away. To post a message, click Add Topic. You can select which category to place this topic in. Since we only have one category, this is irrelevant. Then edit the subject. I'll type, Did you know an ant can lift over 10 times its own weight? And then I can type in the body of this post. So I'll type, I just found that out. What an interesting fact. You can leave the Send This Post to Subscribers box checked. Anyone that has subscribed to receive email alerts on this topic will receive an email when you post your message. If you leave the Review Before Sending box checked and then click Post Your Message, you will be able to review your post right before submitting it or can send it as a test email to yourself before you actually post it. If you want to be notified anytime someone replies to this thread, then check Email to Me Any Replies to This Thread. If you click on the Advanced Fields button, you can check whether this topic is active or not. If you deselect Active, then visitors will not be able to see the topic, while administrators will see a line running through the topic name. Now click Post Your Message. You'll see the topic listed under the Discussions category, and its first message post right below it. You can modify the post by clicking Edit, Post a Reply by clicking Post Reply, or Delete this topic by clicking Delete. You can view the thread at any time by clicking on the name of the topic. Now let's return to the main page to see the configuration options for this block. Click Configure Bulletin Boards block. At the top, you can manage board categories. This lets you add or delete categories from your Bulletin Boards block. For example, if you use a Bulletin Board block to keep track of software bugs, you can have three categories, High Priority Issues, Low Priority Issues, and Resolved. You can start a new thread in either the High or Low Priority category, and when it's resolved, move it to the Resolved category. In this way, the Bulletin Boards block makes it easy to organize tasks, as well as communicate with other members of your website. Let's go back to the Configure page. The first option here is Topic Name. Each topic does not have to be called a topic. You can call it a thread, discussion, FAQ, or whatever is appropriate for your purpose. Modifying this text will change the buttons that say Edit Topic or Add Topic. Editing the plural topic name will change the text wherever the plural form is used. Checking the regular users only see their topics box will allow members to only view the topics that they have created. Checking Enable Reverse Order will place the most recently created topics first. Normally, the Bulletin Boards block only supports the same text editing features as a text block. If you enable Advanced Editing, then features available in the General block, such as pictures, links, and tables, will be supported as well. If you uncheck Show Articles, then each thread will not be visible until you click on the name of the board category. The Maximum Number of Articles option lets you decide how many topics will appear per category on the main page of your site. The Show Subscribers checkbox will allow others to see who all has subscribed to receive notifications when a new post has been made. Leaving this unchecked will keep that information private. The Bulletin Boards block is similar to the Articles block in that you can have a preview or summary of the topic appear on the main page. If you select Show Introduction Only, then only the first paragraph of your post will appear as a preview. Show the Introduction and Body will preview the entire post and Show Nothing will not display any preview. Summary formatting lets you choose how the preview will appear on your main page. You can choose to have all formatting, such as font color, pictures, and bulletin points, be omitted except for links by selecting Stripped Except for Links.
Retained will show all formatting in the preview, and the advanced formatting stripped, but links, pics, and bold retained will strip font color, bullet points, etc., but will still preview links, pictures, and bold font. At some point, it may be useful to have a summary of a topic for others to see in the preview, but not include that summary in your post. To do this, make your summary the first paragraph of your post so it will appear in the main page preview and select Show the body only here so that the first paragraph will not appear when someone clicks to view your post. Otherwise, leave this set as Show the introduction and the body. When subscribers are emailed new posts, the subject line of the email will be the topic's title. However, you can choose for all emails to have a standard subject before the topic's title. For example, I can type my business site so that anyone receiving an email will know just by looking at the subject that it is coming from my business site. The newsletter format makes the bulletin board more of a place to post important information rather than allow for a discussion. Enabling email reply will put a link inside emails that will take the recipient back to the bulletin boards page so they can reply to a post. Checking forward email reply will allow users to reply to posts directly through their email simply by replying. The signature area allows you to put your own signature or template that will appear in every email message sent. For example, if you put this in the signature box, then any message posted by someone on the bulletin board will be emailed to subscribers and look like this. Once you've finished configuring, click Save. To set whether you receive email notifications when messages are posted, or to subscribe a group to a bulletin board, click the Manage Subscriptions button. The bulletin board block can be used for a variety of things, including discussion forums and announcements. Be sure to take advantage of the Subscriptions feature so users can be alerted when new messages have been posted.